So Port Prison holds about 1700. That's a massive prison population. And it just it just multiplies issues really because any staffing issues in there rather than some small prison are just going to be multiplied. Yeah, it opened with a lot of controversy Park Prison. Uh open racism is talked about racist graffiti not being challenged. Here's the thing. Private prison, back in the day when they opened round about the millennium, not a lot of staff. Staffing numbers were not great. That's staffing ratio to prisoners. Public sector was much better. Very similar now. Yeah? Private sector prison down here. Staffing levels, conditions pay. Public sector off here. What do we do? Great British tradition. Instead of bringing this up here, we drop this down. So we've got issues around drugs. Four lads have recently died. Consume something 500 times more potent than heroin. Open drug dealing. I've had lads contact me who've left part prison. One of them, by his own admitters, just did his sentence on spice fighting the system. Spent a lot of time in a segregation unit, solitary. It is what it is. He said that himself. He did himself. No favours. He swapped one addiction, long time heroin addict for spice. Much worse. His words, not mine. I've had people talk about prisoners being put in cells to fight other prisoners with people betting on it. Staff. Corruption through the roof. Young lasses letting themselves in cells. You know, other lads on the landing can see this. Massive amount of corruption. And we've just had a riot or mutiny. Mutiny, as they are called. A prison riot. Yeah. It's reported 20 people were involved. I'll tell you a story about a prison riot. Yeah, there's a couple of lads at Strange Ways where I worked who'd been moved from their prison. Yeah, they were back in the system. Them lads were going to trial. They're looking at 10 years for mutiny. For rioting in prison, you can add 10 years to your sentence. Morning, Goss. 10 years to your sentence. Yeah. Now, the prison service did an investigation into that mutiny. It was done by someone who was a true professional. Uh, he specialised in investigations. I'm not going to mention his name. Safe to say he knew what he was doing. Now, here's the prison service for you. The Home Office in general. Prison service headquarters. These lads are up for rioting, mutiny. Looking at 10 years. Yeah. They and their legal teams didn't know the prison service had done an investigation. So at the time, the announcement was, um, it was very one-sided about what had happened. Uh, devastating damage, staff injured and the like. So again, these lads are looking at 10 years. So the person who did the investigation was speaking to one of these lads in the segregation unit. And when a governor goes around the segregation unit, they will be escorted. It's a, day, a, a daily thing. And they will be introduced to that prisoner. So this is Mr. Smith. Oh, Mr. Smith, I know about you. I did an investigation into the mutiny you were involved in. ka -ching. That was the end of the conversation. Mr. Smith contacted his legal team. The prison service investigation, which had been toned down, bits redacted, not fully put out there, played down the riot or mutiny. So these lads are looking at 10 years. If 
for kicking off violence and destruction and the print service have watered down a very thorough investigation that were done. It's not all out there in the public. So their legal teams just looked at that. You're saying this, violence, disorder, staff injured, damage to property. This report says not. It was done just like that. Just like that, them lads were let off. The trial, the case for the print service collapsed. So HMP Park, how do you stop drugs going in prison? We can't, we've already said that. Drug testing. I did a bit of drug testing in prison. It's a waste of time. Absolute waste of time. The stuff that's in there now, you know, you drug test someone, you get a positive. I don't know whether they can test for spice now. It's changing continually. You don't need to drug test. You can just look around the wing. Half the prison population is on this stuff. Yeah. And if you find somebody who is taking drugs with a drug test, you get a positive test, you put them on punishment. Do you think that makes a difference now? It doesn't. So Park Prison is in a state like many others. Violence, corruption. Nothing's going to improve, nothing's going to change. For me, the prison service going forward needs to get enough staff to do the job in every prison in England and Wales. Enough staff to do the job. Go back to providing a regime Start with basics, give people time out of cell, gym and everything else. And all those people who are thinking it shouldn't be an holiday camp, we're going to run out of staff very soon. Next couple of three years, every prison is just going to be on lockdown. Not everyone who goes to prison is a bad person. They're not victims of circumstances, childhood abuse, trauma and the like. I will look at me as a lad, getting up to mischief, maybe hanging with the wrong crowd. Again, that's not an excuse. Prisons are full, they're trying to empty them. People are walking free from court who quite definitely, quite definitely should be inside. Just gonna leave it there guys. Thanks for your continued support. God bless you all. Thanks for coming, I'll see you. Real forage, forecast, real people, real stories, real forage, forecast, real people, real stories.